Down from Cloud Nine? <laughs> Just about, yeah. Obviously a short turnaround from uh, a special day at Wembley, but you know that's that's been and gone now. It's we've got to concentrate on what will be a, a, a massive game on Sunday for us. You'll never forget that day, though, will you? No, definitely not. It was uh, very special, especially to do it in the manner we did. You know, I don't think we scored a goal, but one of our players scored a goal anyway over the, in the playoffs. And uh, I think it kind of summed up our season. You know, we're going extra time and the distance to penalties. We uh, shown that grit and desire and that bit of determination, which has, has managed to get us over the line. And I think in the end, just deserts. It's either desolation or elation for a keeper in shootouts. You come out twice <laughs> on the right side. Yeah, What's the secret. <laughs> to be honest, there is no secret. You just got to uh, look who's taking the penalty, pick away, and commit yourself. You know, there's no point being half-hearted and thinking, well, if he's going to go this way, what if he goes that way? Pick away, dive, and and ultimately, you know, the the, the lads who scored the pens for Huddersfield are, are my heroes because they've uh, they've helped us win the game. So, where does this leave you now? What, what's your wh- where will you be next season? Do you think? Have you had talks <laughs> about it or? Um, to be honest, it's just one of those things now where a player in, in my situation, it's, I'm Liverpool's player. The plan was always to go back and do pre-season, but you know whether Huddersfield getting promoted changes things. Who knows? It's it's in the hands of Liverpool. Um, ultimately, I'm their player, and and their needs come first. Have you tried to find out what's happening, or is it <laughs> uh, not really at this minute? You know, it's uh, been a short turnaround. Obviously, after the final going to Portugal. And now we're here, you've just got to concentrate on, on the game on Sunday and then after that we'll, we'll see what happens. But you'd obviously like to be playing ideally with Huddersfield, is that your wish for next season? Well, self, on a selfish point, yeah, because it, you know, development wise for me, I'm, I'm only young for a goalkeeper and, and to be, have a chance of playing you know, week in week out in the Premier League, is, it'll be vital for you know, experience for, for someone of my age. Probably more so than being on the bench at Liverpool? Or? Yeah, again, it, from my point of view, it would be you know more beneficial. Uh, but again, Liverpool are, have my contract, and it's their needs come first, especially with the Champions League. It's a great position for you to be in, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. People always say, you know, the summer you enjoy your break, and even though we've not had much of one, it's uh, it's quite a, a strange situation, uh, especially after coming in after being on loan. You know, you things may be up in the air a little bit, but it's been a welcome distraction to come away with. Uh, with these boys and look forward to the game on Sunday. Did you hear from Jurgen Klopp after the playoff? Yeah, just the congratulations really. Obviously it's it's documented his relationship with the manager at Huddersfield as well, which is which has been good for me. Mm. Uh but no, just congratulations and uh, keep it up. He couldn't have missed it, could he? <laughs> no, no, he's uh I know him and David Wagner were we're constantly in contact. Uh but again, only good for myself, you know, if if they're talking. Uh hopefully it was it was only good things. So to Wales now, and a year ago Sunday, probably around about this time, you might have thought I might be playing in Wales's first Euro 2016 game. Oh, in all honesty, I never. I, I I was looking forward to the game, excited like the rest of the boys. You know, the whole squad. We were buzzing for it, and on the day of the game, I had um, Martin Margotson at the time said to me, "You know, you you're in Big Wayne struggling." Um, which I think was a good thing actually the day before a game because you didn't have time to think about it you would just automatically then switch and, and you're concentrating on the game which was a blessing and it was a heck of a game wasn't it? <laughs> yeah it was it was emotional to be honest uh, that, when that final whistle you know, came and, and we won the game 2-1 got off to an unbelievable start against what are a, a really good side it was just uh, yeah it was emotional a, a, a big sense of relief as well in a way and how would you describe you've been part of this this campaign now? It's difficult to say something that's along the lines of what's gone wrong, but you know what I mean. But where are Wales squad now? Do you think? I think we've been unfortunate in in a few of the games. You know, you, you take the last game against Serbia, for example. You know, two inches either side of the post, and, and Gareth scores to make it two nil. And as again, matter of inches down the other end, Mitrovic's header. If he hits another part of the post, doesn't go in, and, and we win the game one 0 So I think we've been unfortunate, and uh, obviously some people may say, you know, maybe the lads have took the foot off the gas or whatever. But I can say that's definitely not the case. The boys have still got this same togetherness, same team spirit, same quality on the pitch. Uh, but sometimes it's just football, and we've just got to keep working to to get where we know we can be. No Gareth Bale this time, though. No? No, I mean, that would be a, a downer for any team in the world, obviously. We know what Gareth's capable of. 
but I think we've got more than enough to, to back that up and, and make up for what, what Gareth obviously we, we lose with him being out. And the, the injury today to Ben Woodburn, obviously a player you must, you must know reasonably well. Um, how, how has he been affected and, and how will Marley Watkins, have you seen much of him? I played against Marley this year twice, to be honest, and it's no coincidence that he's he's got himself a good move to Norwich. You know, he's he's been very impressive this year. I think his stats have, have, have backed that up. And and in terms of Ben, I think we all know everyone's excited about Ben Woodburn because, you know, he's a talented boy. He's got a, a great attitude, and, and mentally, you, you would never think he was he was 17. He he seems very mature for his age, which can only be good for the future of, of our nation. You've told him he's well soften enough, I'm sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's. Uh, even if he says he's from uh, wherever, Tattanall or wherever, I say, no, you were born in Wrexham, if anyone asks. So. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yourself, obviously, you, you've had to play understudy to Wayne Hennessy, but, I mean, you'd love to be the Wales number one. How, how friendly is the rivalry? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, of course it's a friendly rivalry, but it's the same as being at a club. Um, if, if, you, if you're the man who, who's got the jersey and you know you're going to be playing on the Saturday, or a Sunday in this instance, you know, you, you can't take your foot off the gas because you know the two guys behind you are going to do everything they can to take that shirt from you. So, you know, we've, we've been around the uh, training ground and around each other long enough now. We we go get on great as a unit. Um, but no, it's one of them where I, our job is to push Wayne. He's the number one at the minute and we've got to try and get that shirt off him. But friendly rivalry, definitely. And last one for me, I suppose, after what happened a year ago, you never think I'm going to be on the bench tomorrow because... <laughs> yeah, I think it was just an example, really. Uh, not just obviously it happened to me, but not just for myself, for the other boys in around the camp who, who may think they, they might not have a, a sniff of starting at all. Uh, football's a funny game and things can change in the blink of an eye, as, as I well know from last year. Dan, you were talking about your rivalry obviously with Wayne, but it, it, it's competitive as well, isn't it? But do you yeah. feel now that you're in a position because of what you've experienced with Huddersfield to push him just that little bit further? I think so, yeah, personally. But again, it's 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 not just being selfish and about yourself, and it's it's about Wayne. It's about the whole team. You know, with, if the goalkeepers are pushing each other onto another level, that can only be good for the team when it when, for example, the Serbia game comes around. But the fact you came through two penalty shootouts to achieve promotion with Huddersfield, and you've spoken about how you want that first team opportunity, the chance to play in that Premier League, do you feel you'd be in a better position? Obviously, you would be if you if you stayed. Yeah, definitely. But but again, it's it's one of them where it's out of my hands at the minute because I'm Liverpool's player. They've they've got to decide what they think is best for me. And obviously, I have my opinion. Um, David Wang will have his opinion. Jurgen will have his opinion. So is it a frustrating kind of position that you find yourself? Um, slightly, but I, I've not really thought about it too much because we've we've been away and, and we've been training hard for this game on Sunday. But I'm sure after the after the game, I'll. Uh, I'll speak to the necessary people and, and, and see what's around the corner. And just going back to, to that game on my holiday Monday, when I was speaking to you post match at the time, crazy one. But it's, it, it seems ages ago now, because, like you say, it's been such a quick turnaround for you. It has. Kind of focus on so many different things. Yeah, I mean, within 24 hours, 48 hours, I was on a flight to Portugal for the training camp, so it's. Uh, I've, I think I'll have to enjoy that after uh, after Sunday, to be honest. i got a bit of catching up to do, haven't I? <laughs> Danny, has uh, is Chris Gunter forgiven you yet? I think so. Uh, I think so. Obviously, I, I saw him after, straight after the penalties, and you now we had a bit of an embrace. And it's one of them things. It's a horrible way to lose, you know, what was effectively a season's work. Uh, all the, you know, the 46 games, the Saturday, Tuesdays, the hectic schedule, and for it to come down to a penalty shootout is uh, it's a tough way for him to go. Obviously, on the flip side, I was absolutely made up. Um, Chris, maybe not so much. But it doesn't it doesn't affect the relationship that, that I have with him, you know, we we come way here and you know, we're still good pals and like I say after the game we, we had a bit of a, a chat and got each other's feelings, but it's it was emotion was still raw, you know, from both sides. Oh, no, he's, he's a good boy, he's a brilliant professional Chris, so I'm sure he'll shrug it off and then go again next year. Yeah, so you haven't seen him he hasn't been down in the dumps during the camp, he's been his usual No, no he's he's we all know what Chris Gunn is like, you know, he's a bubbly character, isn't he? Um but no, he's, he's been the same. I think it's been a welcome distraction. If he has been feeling like that, I don't know. Uh, to come away with the boys and, and be around familiar faces, and we all enjoy coming away and enjoying each other's company. I just find me Harry Wilson, obviously your new old teammates. But how is he looking? How is he fitting into the into the international scene? And do you think he can make an impact? I think so. I think he's here for a reason, of course. Um, 
Harry obviously to be involved with with Liverpool and to be involved, he's, he's got quality. He's a very good player, sharp, left good, left foot on him. But I think it's important, you know. We remember he's again, he's only a young lad, same as Ben. Um, not to put too much pressure on them, you know. Their time will come, and to, for them to be involved with a group of lads who have achieved some success already on the international stage can can only benefit them in future. Do you think he needs to kind of do something similar to yourself and, and maybe go out on loan and, and get that sort of first team experience? Uh, potentially, yeah. Um, obviously, reserve team football nowadays is is different to what it was in the past. Um, per, and for me personally, I'm not saying it works for everyone. For me, going on loan was was the best couple of things I did. You know, even going to Morecambe for a month, a, a few years back, you learn so much in the space of four or five games. You take it on to your next loan, Aberdeen, and then what you learn up there, you know, you bring into the next loan. So it's it's a gradual thing, and I think you learn more by playing games in that situation than than playing. You know, 23's reserve team football. That's great. Thanks, everyone. Cheers, Cheers chaps.